So if you're a high school dropout or a college dropout and you're in the process of seeking guidance in the pursuit of success, then this video is for you. On today's video, I'm gonna elaborate on why specialized knowledge is important over general knowledge for the success of your future. Because successful people in all callings never stop acquiring specialized knowledge as it relates to their major purpose in life, business or profession. So stay tuned. Hey my friend, what's up? It's Wilfredo here and welcome back to my channel. I'm your knowledge entrepreneur bringing you perspective, passion, and a social impact to you, the underserved student. Whether you're a high school dropout or a college dropout, I can help you go from dropout to successful entrepreneur or to the career of your choice. So let's dive into how we can make a quantum leap to your desired career through specialized knowledge. So real quickly, let's go over the differences between specialized knowledge and general knowledge. So general knowledge is information or knowledge about all types of subjects. Have you ever heard of the phrase, jack of all trades, master of none? Yeah, that's a person who dabbles into many skill sets rather than to gaining expertise by focusing on one. So am I saying that general knowledge is not important? Of course not. Moreover, the decisions that you make in the early stage of your development in terms of your success journey, general knowledge provides the basis for your decision making in the process of your development. However, specialized knowledge is central as it pertains to your new journey to becoming a successful entrepreneur or your desired career. Now, specialized knowledge can be obtained through several different ways. The first is through colleges and universities. There, you choose a major that focuses on a specific field of interest, such as becoming a doctor, a lawyer, or an engineer. However, this option can be costly. So according to collegedata.com, the average cost per year for college tuition and fees are about $37,000 per year for a private college, $10,000 per year for a public college if you're an in-state resident, and $27,000 per year for a public college if you're an out-of-state resident. However, if you have the means for it, by all means, go for it. And second is going the route of trade schooling. Here, you can focus on becoming a hairstylist, an electrician, or a graphic designer. Now, the average cost is about $5,000 to $15,000, and the duration or the time to complete these courses is about 18 months or so. And option number three is subscription-based education. Here's where you subscribe to an online subscription-based course, where subscription-based courses are generally focused on individuals who are seeking to master a hobby, or let's say start their own YouTube channel, their podcast show, or want to become a social media manager. So if you decide to choose the subscription-based education route, then I would suggest looking into course creators such as Sean Kennel at seankennel.com for his YouTube courses, awesome. Shalene Johnson at shalenejohnson.com or Vanessa Lau at vanessalau.co for their social media management courses, phenomenal. And or Pat Flynn over at smartpassiveincome.com for his podcast courses awesome as well. So that's just to name a few entrepreneurs that I personally look up to who has created highly successful subscription-based courses and that provides you a ton of value and give you a lot more than what you pay for. It's how I learn how to scale my own business as it relates to my YouTube channel, my podcast show, and my social media presence. So the average cost for subscription-based courses range between $200 to about $5,000. And the duration of these courses to complete is about 12 to 18 months. And my final suggestion is self-education, also known as an autodidact. So a self-educated person or autodidact is a person who hones in on a particular subject matter of interest with the intent to make it a career or business. So for me, this was one of the routes I took. I decided to self-educate myself as well with the intent to motivate and educate others and providing them guidance to finding their purpose in life. This was the most economical way to attempt to acquire specialized knowledge in a private setting. Now I must stress that this route will require self-discipline and self-reliance. You must have a burning desire for success and do all you can do every day to become financially free. Now the duration of this process 
with the intent to acquire expertise in your particular field of interest all depends on your desire to succeed. If you put in the work on a daily basis, including weekends, you can accomplish this within six to 12 months. If you work on it on a part-time basis, it can take you up to two to three years. It all depends on how bad you want it. So for me, it only cost me $300 that year to educate myself. And that was through purchasing books at an average cost of $25 a book. I was able to read about 12 books that year. And because I still had a nine to five at the time, I was only able to dedicate reading time to about 10 to 15 pages a day, including weekends for 30 days, which equated to about 300 pages a month, which is the average page count. For books these days. Now here are a few books that I've read to acquire specialized knowledge. So before I became successful in this arena, my first success came through real estate. And the books that I decided to read at the time was Rich Dad Poor Dad and The Cash Flow Quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki. And when I decided to get involved in this arena, I read up on Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller, Time to Think by Nancy Klein, and The 4-Hour Workweek by Timothy Ferris. And as for mindset development, I read up on As a Man Thinketh by James Allen and The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. And as for the accumulation of wealth, I read up on The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Waddles and Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So remember, successful people never stop acquiring specialized knowledge as it relates to their business or profession. Moreover, by adding imagination, which happens to be the workshop of your mind, to your specialized knowledge will prove to be a powerful ingredient to your success at whatever it is you wanna become successful at. So remember, the idea is the main thing. Think of your desired career or business and acquire specialized knowledge on it because specialized knowledge may be just around the corner, any corner. So before I end this video, I have a question for you, and then I'll leave you with my final note. I'm thinking of forming an alliance, a mastermind group, if you will, with a few people with suitable talents to help you with the pursuit of your success. It'll be a mastermind group of people with the driving force to organize planning to help you crystallize your desires into action. So if this is of interest to you, then I'd love to hear from you. Just click the link below and depending on the feedback that I'll get, I'll let you know on when and how to join the mastermind group. Now, let me leave you with this final note. There is a thinking stuff of which all things are made and which in its original state permeates, penetrates, and fills the intraspaces of the universe. A thought in this substance produces the thing that is imaged by the thought. Man can form things in his thought and by impressing his thoughts upon formless substance can cause the thing that he thinks about to be created. Wallace D. Waddles. Now that my friend is the secret to getting rich. And as usual, if you can tell me what you want, I can tell you how to get it. Just put your comments down below and I'll be sure to hit you up.